the Nifty 50 fell by 0.14% and ended the day at 26,178 with a P.E. ratio of 24.3. The Nifty Midcap 150 Index currently trades at a P.E. ratio of 45.2 and Nifty Small Cap 250 Index currently trades at a P.E. ratio of 31.8. The India 10-year bond yield currently stands at 6.87 and the U.S. 10-year bond yield currently stands at 3.76. The ticker tape fear. Greed index currently stands at a value of 65.75, which is in greed zone. Chris Capital is aiming to build an investment platform as it nears the acquisition of two prominent bakery, patisserie, and dessert chains, Theobroma Foods and Belgian Waffle Company, with a combined valuation estimated to be between rupees 3,200 to 3,500 crore plans for WeWork. Incorporated to sell its 27% stake in its Indian division and exit the country have fallen through, according to three sources familiar with the matter. This development comes despite receiving prior approval from the Competition Commission of India. India is taking the lead in adopting generative AI and has emerged as the largest market for Meta's AI personal assistant, which serves around 400 million users globally, as stated by Meta's global chief product officer, Chris Cox. SpiceJet, the financially troubled domestic airline, announced that it has settled all outstanding salary dues for its employees following a fresh infusion of capital amounting to rupees 3,000 crore. Speciality Restaurants, known as India's first publicly listed restaurant company and operator of popular brands like Mainland China, Asia Kitchen by Mainland China, and O Calcutta, plans to open 40 to 50 new outlets over the next three years, according to its chairman, Anjan Chatterjee. The unfortunate death of a 26-year-old chartered accountant working at SR Batlaboy & Company, an affiliate of EY Global, has prompted the big four firms to introduce several employee-centered initiatives, particularly focusing on mental health and achieving a better work-life balance. Adani Green Energy Limited announced on Thursday that it has finalized a 50-50 joint venture agreement with Total Energies, as disclosed in an exchange filing. The bond to equity earnings yield ratio stands at 1.67, which signifies premium nifty valuation. To understand beer ratio analysis, please refer the explanation text on your screen and on the description of the video. For a one-to-one -one discussion with a highly experienced finance professional who always keeps your interest ahead of everything, you can write to us at info at the rate eacapital.in and one of our team members will get in touch with you.